Now the next technique we're going to look at is going to be the jump spin serve. And I think a variety of things come into play when you start looking at this. The first thing is, from a coaching standpoint, you have to recognize that your players are going to make a lot more errors as they're learning how to strike the ball with the jump spin serve than they did on their standing serve, but certainly the payoff might later be that you can generate a lot of points. From our standpoint, uh, we want the players to spend a lot of time. We, uh, we have our jump servers jump serving two or three times during practice just to make sure that they can do it through different levels of fatigue. But the first thing we want to see is how they toss that ball, and now we're going to see a much higher toss, and we're looking at a four-step approach again, similar to what we would see in spiking, where the player gets the ball out in front of them and takes a big swing. And at the point of contact, with an open hand, they want to snap their wrist as violently as they can.